Hi there guys and girls and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. So in today's video, which is a follow up on yesterday's video, so go check that one out. I'm going to show you guys, or at least our guest presenter is going to show you guys, how to do a transfer from your uh, tarantula's previous home to its new home. But this is mostly for your arboreal species. Now our guest presenter is Paul van der Westezen, or also known as Prof, because he has so much knowledge about the arachnoculture hobby. Enjoy the video, guys. Hi, hey guys and girls. I'm Paul, also known as Prof. Uh, today, I just want to show you how to do a arboreal rehousing. So, uh, this is my first time doing this, so please bear with me. Um, we'll be rehousing a uh, Lambropelmon agrarium also known as a Shanghai Island Black female. Um, for those of guys and girls that are struggling to do rehousing, uh, I'm going to show you an easy way to, to do it. It has three advantages on it. First one, you won't get tagged. Second one, it won't escape. And the third one is completely safe for the tarantula as well. So bear with me, my first time. We're going to go through step by step what we're going to need and yeah, take it from there. Uh, basically, what you need is <coughs> a long piece of wire or whatever you can get your hands on. Preferably, you can get a carton box or a piece of pressed wood or something like that. That works as well. And my tool that I use is just a normal there was a flower inside here, but I use it now for rehousing arboreal teas and stuff like that. So yeah, it could be a timely process because some of them are very stubborn to get out. But yeah, let's see how quick and easy we can get it out of the enclosure. And if you don't have an uh, extra container or con uh, enclosure, uh, you can always take it out and put it safely inside the container and wash it with warm water or something but I take it somewhere you guys already know that but what I did I prepared already a, a new enclosure for her so it's going to be a quick and easy rehousing for that so yeah let's start with it always make sure if, if the tarantula is not on the side that you securely quickly close the lid on top and but like this one we can open it up she's hiding away in the inside just excuse the tanks that looks like it was it wasn't mine got it as a present so the guy neglected a little bit that's why i thought this is a perfect opportunity for doing a rehouse viewing on it like i said it could be a timely process but we'll eventually get there always make sure that it's covered on top and get a slight opening on the side so just make sure she's it's completely closed on top that you can't get out that side you can always leave a small and hole here for your piece of wire <coughs> that you can use so yeah let's see how quick and easy we can get this little bad boy girl bad girl actually out of the video out of the enclosure She's hiding away somewhere, so be with me with this. Oh, she's starting to show herself. Like I said, some of them, they could be very agitated or aggressive or stubborn. But, yeah, you'll eventually get, but just make sure if they started to bail, you always keep the, the lid up on the top. See, like this little girl? She's moving actually the wrong direction. They, she gives me a thread pose. But yeah. We'll 
you'll see I've made two different sides on the on the piece of wire just to if the pointy the straight edge don't get to the sides oh wow she just tagged the, the, the wire awesome she's not really liking this idea Just always make sure you keep the tank on the top Should be nice and secure She's quite feisty That's my first time doing a video like this But it's not my first time realizing a boreal species. I've been doing it for about four years now. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Let okay, me just slightly move the opening. You can see you can always adjust the, the lid on top for where they're sitting just to make it a little bit easier for them. But yeah, this this rehousing method works for for slings, juvies, adult females. So it's quite easy, but like I said, it's, it can be time consuming due to them being stubborn. Just move it slightly to this side and yeah as you can see she's nice and secure inside and that's the first part on it if you as you see in the video I've got a water misting bowl but it's not necessary for the size and the species because you can produce it you can supply them with a, a clean water bowl and yeah we get this out of the way You can see I already prepared a new enclosure for it. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna move her back into the new enclosure. There's no need to mist inside there because of the water bowl inside there. So yeah, let's get that moving. This should be going quite easy because she's sitting right at the bottom of the tank. So yeah, let me just get this slightly moved there open it up a little bit then you can also use this one again get it back in it's a little bit stressed out but yeah it is quite a stressful time for them if you realize that so it's a question of just being patient and she is now quite stubborn to get back inside I experience it a lot with with, uh, with the Avix and stuff like that. You struggle to get them out once you get them to get them back in again is quite a mission. And see, like here comes the part of play with the bended side on the stick. We can slightly push it down, not hurting her at all. Uh, She's attacking us with the stick or the wire. Sorry. Feisty little girl, this one. Got me. Sorry. Yeah, 
what I said, it takes them sometimes a little bit longer than you suspected. There we go. There we go. All nice and clean. And then you just slide it back to that side. And that's it. Just make sure that as quick as possible, you just slide the, the lid back on. And yeah, like I say, sometimes they can be quite fast, even if you rehouse them like that. So yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, just remember, Liam Latifang will post a link at the bottom of the screen so you can join the Facebook group Gauteng Arachnoculture that will also give you a, a direct uh, a link or something to go to the WhatsApp group. So thanks guys, enjoy and be safe. Enjoy the hobby and yeah, thanks guys. Right now guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Paul is an expert and I think that method is definitely going to work for me as well. So let's try that out. I've got a small little cup, obviously not as big as the one that he used, uh, the container that he used. I've got a hard piece of uh, plastic with a small little hole cut in it so that the cup can go over it. And then I also have a small stick that I could use to help the sling, the little baby tarantula, to move into its new enclosure. And this you can use from the top, from the side, any way you want to use to. I also have a few extra little holes drilled into the side for if that little tarantula is also going to sit on the inside of the lid. So if you have the stick here, you won't be able to get that little tarantula like that. But now, from the side, I can actually get him at the top here to move downwards. And this is just a small little um, flimsy little stick. It's not going to hurt the tarantula. I'm not going to poke it with it. I'm just going to edge it on. So uh, let's see if I can get that done. The arboreal tarantula that I have is a tiny little sling. And I can see it's going to be an easy move for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the twigs a little bit because I see it's on a piece of bark in its previous enclosure which is not really a terrestrial enclosure guys this is a small little arboreal enclosure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly just take it not to startle the tea still on the I hope this is so sorry about that I don't know what happened but uh, the little tarantula is in. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's in its little new enclosure. But uh, yeah, camera stopped working. But uh, definitely in the next episode, I'll have more about my little sun tiger and more about the rehousing. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, I could successfully just move the little sling over into its new enclosure. Just by picking up that small little piece of bark, I do not recommend this because these little guys, they're really, really fast and they can bolt over easily. But I did make sure that I had all of the little exits covered and I had my little cups, uh, catch cup ready as well if he were to bolt out of uh, the enclosure as well. But he's successfully in his new enclosure and he's loving it. He already started to web up a little bit as well and I'll keep you updated about him and all of his tarantula friends. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember guys, just like Paul also said, to click on that link. I'll have a link up here as well, just for you guys that don't find the link in the bottom in the description, to join the Arachnoculture or the Gauteng Arachnoculture Facebook group. And also, you'll be easily able to join the WhatsApp group once you're on the Facebook group. And uh, for the rest of you guys that are new to my channel, click on your bottom right hand corner that will subscribe to, you, to my channel automatically if you're watching this from YouTube. And if not, get yourself over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Now also if you guys want to get notifications if I post new uh, videos, click on the bell icon that looks like this one. That one would let you guys know if I have new video content coming out. And uh, as always, I am on all of your social media platforms. Remember about my competition, guys. 
don't lose out you are gonna lose a whole lot of prizes if you do not enter this competition it is fantastic and if you want to find out more about that join the Facebook group the wild wonders of southern Africa also linked down below in the description if you guys want to become wild wanderers and uh, yeah all of the information is down below if you guys want to find out more have a fantastic week bye for now